Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Countess of Champions video. So we're going to be taking a look at Act 7.1.3, the third quest in Act 7.1. And I'm going to show you the path that I chose that I thought was the easiest path. Now, the path that you find easy may be different. You need to evaluate it based on your champions and also your skills, what you're comfortable with. Uh, tackle it. All right, so the path that I chose here uh, has Blaze, Power Axis, and Power Shield. So Blaze, you're going to be taking direct damage, 100% over 30 seconds. So you need someone that is going to uh, be able to deal with that. Okay, you also have Power Axis, which basically means your power gain is greater when you're... Um, below a special two so that means you're going to be able to get to a special two faster all right and then you have power shield where your regular attacks do no damage but your special attacks do 400 percent more damage so when i see power shield i automatically think of ghost all right the direct damage can be handled because i have hood on the team so with Hood on the team, I take no damage while I'm phasing. So that means I want to stay phased for as long as possible. All right. So you see here, you know, I'm trying to stay phased and just build up to that special two. And the special two is pretty much lights out. All right. As you can see. All right. Um, this path seemed to be pretty straightforward. Now, uh, as far as some alternates, I don't know if this activates Gladiator Hulk's face me. Uh, test it out. If it does, he's also a very good option for that path. Um, I also was thinking about Spider-Ham, but because there's a current bug where it just crashes my, my game every time i can't use him but uh, i know he's immune to degen i don't know if that counts and i would have been happy to jump in there to try it out because he would have also been a good option okay but outside of those uh you want someone that's going to be able to handle that damage whether uh they can heal it back up because remember it's 30 seconds and usually the fight will be over before 30 seconds if you have someone that you uh knows hits hard with their specials like ghost all right uh so that's a way that you can get through this path as well but if you don't have great counters check out the other paths and see if there's another path that suits you a little bit better but for me as you can see it's this path now uh it does mean that i was going to be taking damage no matter what uh, the longer I'm out, like you see here, the longer that I'm out of uh, phase, the more damage I take. And that's why it's really annoying when the AI suddenly plays a bit passively, which they'll sometimes do against Ghost. And they'll dash back and block real quick so that you're hitting into their block, and now you're not phased. And in this case, that's going to do some damage. You see what my health looks like uh, with just that little bit. Haven't gotten hit yet. All right. So just bear that in mind. But we are moving through. You know, I'm checking to make sure uh, which path because I saw those uh, shards down there and I'm like, ooh, I want those shards. But that's not the path that I'm uh, doing right now. I got them later. All right. So I haven't farmed any potions or anything like that. I, I need to do that. Uh, but I didn't farm up any potions for Act 7.1. These are potions that I get from the solo objectives and, um, you know, from other places. I don't even remember where I get them all. Uh, but I healed up Ghost uh, because, again, I know I'm going to be taking damage. And you never know when the AI will throw, a, you know, a curveball at you and suddenly you're unfazed and you're not able to get phased because they're turtling up. So you're not able to hit them. All right, so you see here already, you know, um, we had a little bit of a, uh, a rocky start here. But all I'm trying to do is get to my special two. 
and that's it. Boom. And it's lights out. Now, if you've been watching my videos here of Acts 7.1, uh, you are already familiar with the global, but just in case you zoomed in on just this one, uh, the global gives six stars an advantage. Uh, they get extra damage, okay? And they get a few other things, but take a look at the globals. Uh, I have a six star uh, rank three ghost. Uh, I don't remember if I took her up at this time or, or afterwards, but I did have a rank two at the very least. And uh, she's not awakened. So I chose not to use her here. If I could get her awakened, duped, I would have definitely brought her in here. Uh, but at this point in time, uh, my five star, who is SIG 200, was going to help me get to my special two much faster. And so we were going to be able to um you know get those special twos out quicker all right so here's also something that is new uh just before the boss you are allowed to swap out one of your champions you can't swap out one that is ko'd but you can swap out uh any of your champions that are alive and they will come in with full health so that's huge so if you want to revive someone and then swap that works out just fine all right, so you can see the nodes that we have to deal with here. And keep in mind, this was my first time going up against this guy. Now, Vision Arcus is annoying. I saw some good fights with Symbiote Supreme. That's why I brought him. All right, but first, I'm going to just go in here and apparently do absolutely nothing with Ghost. But the reason that I went in here with Ghost is just to do some damage. That's all I wanted to do, okay? Um, that's why I'm going in here with Wasp. I already know that Wasp is not gonna be able to do it, but one of the things that I like to do, and, I, and I've done this on pretty much every run that I've had in my initial runs, uh, I will go in with my lesser champions, you know, champions that I don't think are actually gonna you know, get the boss down just to do some damage, you know, because that's going to make my other guys need less. And in this case, I'm setting everything up for Symbiote Supreme. So I just want to do more damage so that Symbiote Supreme has less damage to do when it gets to him. All right. So um, Ghost is down. Wasp is down. We're just going to go through uh, the other guys here. Just trying to do as much damage as we can so that our Symbiote Supreme will have an easier time. Also, it gives me a chance to kind of get a feel for the fight. Now, I hate that tenacity, let me tell you. That is so annoying. Um, I probably could have brought in uh, Black Widow Clairvoyant. I believe that I ended up bringing her because I've already 100%ed this uh, at the time of this um, recording here. Uh, but I think I used her the next time I had to go through because that's something else. You only have to fight these bosses twice uh, each. So very nice. This was the first time uh, I went back in a second time and it went much better than the first time um, because I had a, a little bit more knowledge. But I believe Black Widow Clairvoyant uh, someone who can nullify so you can kind of keep him under control. Um, if they can be cold snap immune, that works great too. But nullification is, is big. All right, so you can see I'm not doing a whole lot of damage uh, to him with my other guys, but I am doing damage. Okay, so now we've got um, Omega Red, six star Omega Red. He's unawakened um but he's also bugged uh right now he as you can see he's not doing any damage before his spores get to 10 all right you see that so uh, look at this I'm, I'm not doing any damage and he's supposed to be fixed soon but at this time that really hurt me that really hurt uh because i wanted him to do you know, at least some damage, and then I would have tried to lock him in, 
but without him getting to 10, he's not doing any damage, and he's supposed to. His damage is supposed to ramp up and then just keep getting stronger the more spores you get, you know, on your opponent. All right, so I just threw that so that I could maybe get a little bit of health uh, back, and I'm trying to bait him out, but of course that special two of his is so nasty. Uh, I watched the Summoner uh, Showdown, and that guy uh, dexed the special two. That was amazing. That was awesome. I had never seen uh, anyone dex completely uh, Vision Arcus's special uh, two. All right, so now I'm in here with the guy that I thought was going to do very, very well. Okay, I watched videos. I saw folks uh, doing this. So what you want to do is keep those staggers up. All right, now I get a periodic stagger because my Symbiote Supreme is awakened and he's got a decent sig. So I should be getting a periodic stagger even if I'm unlucky and I don't get any staggers from my attacks. All right, so you can see here that he's not able to get his power gain. So if we can just keep doing that, we're good, all right? And you can see, you know, we're, we're, we're doing some work on him, okay? Those power, uh, the power gain, not happening. Uh, now, something that I didn't anticipate, which kind of messed up my plans, and look at this, he has a power gain now. How that happened was I didn't get the stagger in time and my full combo, I was just unlucky. Now he's got a power gain. All right, now what I need to do here, I can try to nullify it, right? But here's the problem. I have um, a, a power reversal. They're, they're, they're draining my power. And so I went in here and I wasn't thinking uh, about that. And I'm like, okay, well, now what am I gonna do? You know, so we did get um, the power gain nullified there. Um, I had to switch up, but he's got me in the corner and I'm taking, you know, all this little bit of damage here. Um, we've got him to, to half health, but boom, you know, didn't have enough health and he just basically battered me into oblivion. All right. And so at this point I was kind of shaken because I was like, okay, uh, what was going on? I, obviously I didn't read the nodes too well. And so I said, all right, I don't like long fights. And that fight with Symbiote Supreme seemed to be long and, and a little bit of RNG. So I'm going to try to just brute force it with Ghost. Ghost is normally not a good option for Vision Arcus. But you see, I'm not doing any damage. Okay. That was something that I was like, okay, wait, what? And I'm like, okay, if I can just get to a special two, I'm good. But the problem is, he put an armor break on me anyway. And I'm like, okay, that didn't work. I needed to get, because that's all I wanted to do. I wanted to try to build up to a special two quickly before he could get an armor break on me so I could fire off my special two. And it might have taken, what, one or two uh, 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 special twos? So I'm sitting here and I'm just like, okay, I might want to try that again. Maybe I can get to that special two faster and not get the armor break on me, okay? Uh, stubborn, that's me. Um, Ghost is not a good option for this fight, so don't do this. You're seeing it now, all right? Um, so as you can see, I had plenty of revives and, and I had some expiring, so I needed to start using them anyway, all right? So you can see here, I'm, I'm going through and I'm like, all right, let me, uh, you know, give myself a little boost. Uh, that's not gonna work because I need to get to my special two. Okay, so we're trying it again. All right, I'm backing off so that I don't get that armor break on me too quickly, but he's got a power gain. So this time you see what I did. I didn't wait for a special two. I just, because I knew I was gonna be getting an armor break on me so I went for a special one. At least I did some damage. So I'm like, okay, at this point, I can get him down. It may take me a few revives. 
okay? And so I'm like, okay, will I be able to get to another special one and, and be able to do anything? No. But we did get at least one special one off and it did do some decent damage. So I could continue reviving and getting him down that way. But I was like, let me give Symbiote Supreme another try. All right. Uh, so I went in with Symbiote Supreme. I promise you, I did way better the second time I went in. Uh, like I said, I believe I used um, uh, Black Widow Clairvoyant, who is a six star rank three uh, and did uh, much better on this fight. I believe I, that's who I used the second time. All right. So here we are. We, we basically want to bait that out because it hurts so much and we need to get these staggers up, okay? And and I don't have a stagger up. Okay, there. That was our periodic stagger from our awakened ability, okay? But look at this. I'm getting all these bleeds, but no staggers. I'm just trying my best, no staggers. All right, that was the periodic one from the awakened. So if people ask you whether it's useful for him to be awakened. This is why you want Symbiote Supreme awakened if you're using him. You saw all of that. I got no staggers. Now he's got a power gain. And it, it just it just wasn't pretty. All right. So at this point, I'm just like, man, I saw fights. I saw fights and Symbiote Supreme did well. And I'm just like, this is this is ridiculous. You know, so I'm going in again. With Symbiote Supreme, he seemed to be doing the best anyway. Um, you know, of the people that I had available to me at this time. All right, so here we go again. Just want to get staggers on him. That's pretty much what you want to do. You want to keep that power gain off. You can nullify with Symbiote Supreme. Um, I need to learn how to use him a little bit better as well. Um, but yeah, not having power really threw my game off my plans um i had not anticipated that all right so that was just something else and you can see i'm already almost dead again i refuse to use any more health potions i had plenty of revives so i said i'm just going to keep reviving and uh see if we can't get him down now at this point he's low enough that i could have revived ghost and just did what I did before. Uh, that might have saved me a revive or two. And I, I basically said, you know what? Let me use a, a heal because I'm tired now. Now I'm, I'm, I'm getting frustrated uh, with this fight. And that other attempt would have done better had I healed up a little bit. Okay, so we're at it again. And I'm just like, please. Let me get the staggers. Let me try to keep that uh, power gain down. Okay. And you can see here, we've got our staggers up. And so things are working okay. Now, when I went in, I was thinking that I would use uh, Symbiote Supreme, get to a special three, and just rip. Okay. But I wasn't able to get to a special three because of that power drain. So that really messed me up. Uh, had I known that ahead of time i wouldn't have brought symbiote supreme he can do it but i wouldn't have brought him all right um black widow clairvoyant i like her uh even a corvus possibly uh i'm not sure if he would do well here all right uh but after you finish him off the boss you then have to leave <laughs> that is just kind of interesting to me uh, and I was able to form a T2 Alpha. All right. Um, but yeah, uh, I don't know who are the best counters for this. Black Widow Clairvoyant, I believe, was one of the best counters for that boss. Uh, I'm sure there's others. Uh, Symbiote Supreme can work. Uh, I found it to be a little bit RNG, especially since I was getting power drained a lot. That wasn't really a lot of fun. Um... Corvus, I don't know if he would work very well. Uh, you would still need to get to uh, um, some specials and do some damage, and you might be able to just brute force your way uh, through. 
Um, but uh, champs that can nullify, like Black Widow Clairvoyant, um, I think do pretty well uh, against him. All right, but that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Hopefully it helped you out. Uh, do not bring Ghost and expect to fight him. Hopefully you learn what not to do uh, from this. Anyway, take care, and you all have a blessed day.